Welcome back to Investing and Trading Live, sponsored by Online Trading Academy. And if you're just tuning in, we are having a great time in studio and we're getting into different income strategies, especially in that last segment. For people that want a backup plan, I want to continue that discussion on this segment here. For those of you that missed part of the show, make sure to check out the podcast, uh, Investing and Trading Live on Apple Podcast, iHeartRadio, or Spotify. So if you missed tickets for that investing class, text the word investing to the number 210, 210 right now. In that investing class, we go through how the markets function, the different assets, how to have an income strategy or a retirement strategy within your working years or during retirement. Text the word investing right now to the number 210, 210. We'll make sure we get you a date that works the best on your schedule. When you do that, you're also going to receive a financial quick start kit just for getting set up which includes some free stuff, Al, some free stock picks. Everybody likes free. Is that four-letter F word? Love free things. Yeah. So, Al, as I mentioned, we did talk about some of those income strategies that uh, that people are looking to have as, a, as a, more of a as a backup plan, what we've been seeing that people coming into because we're seeing layoffs all across the industry, mm-hmm. all across, especially the, uh, the tech sector, uh, the tech industry, a lot of people Huge. getting laid off. Right. Uh, I, uh, well, IBM just did, uh, Spotify just laid off what 6,000 or 8,000 sure. people. <clears throat> um, Amazon. Amazon Google. was Google, I believe, as yep. well. So we're seeing these major companies, and yeah. it, it starts with these big companies. Right. So that's why so many people are coming to the Academy for these income strategies. So you talked about futures and Forex in that last segment, how to have an income strategy off hours, whether it's in the evening because those are 24-hour markets. Mm -hmm. Talk about some of those income strategies with options because some people do really like stock, but how do you buy or sell stock at a discount? Well, options, that's a great asset to trade both for income and for building your long-term wealth. A number of things you can do. One of the reasons it's called options is because there are so many options that, that you can use. There's only two options. There's a call and there's a put. And you might have heard of things like iron condors or butterflies or uh, ratio spreads, uh, credit spreads, debit spreads. Those are just combinations of calls and puts. And most people are are afraid when they hear that term because they know somebody who didn't do well with options. And I can guarantee you that person didn't know what they were doing. That's why they didn't do well. Yeah, they were actually designed and created to minimize risk. But people, absolutely, people go into the markets without any knowledge or skill. It's crazy. Yeah, Yeah. you you first of all need to know how to control risk. You need to know how to manage that. Options is one of the greatest assets out there to be able to help you do that. You know, and we teach you these things. We have a class going on today. Uh, where the instructor is going to be talking about those individual assets. Yep. By the end of the day, uh, there's about 20 people in there, and I would say 19 of those 20 will not want to trade stock anymore. They're going to want to trade one of those those individual leverage yeah. assets. It's one of those things that, you you know, we hear those comments or those phrases, you don't know what you don't know. Exactly. That's yeah. why we have these yeah. people come to these classes because they want to understand what yeah. are some of the other options out there. People yeah. want options. Yeah, and no yeah, options it's a it's a contract that you you trade on something. There is an underlying. It's a, a, a derivative. So it, it typically it's a stock. You can trade options on a stock. You can trade options on an exchange traded fund, which are baskets of stocks, which allow you to trade options on the individual markets, on the Dow, and the Nasdaq, the S and P five hundred, the Russell. Uh, options can be used in, to participate in a in a position with a fraction of what you would have to have put into a stock position. What does that mean, though? Well, it means that, let's, for example, let's say you want to you want to have 100 shares of Apple stock. Okay. It's going to cost you about 14000 <coughs> excuse me, about $14,000 for that one position. And that's because Apple is at a hundred and about 142 bucks a share today. Correct. Right. So 100 shares, around, you know, a little over $14,000 yep. for one only one position. And, and if you don't have any protection... What's your potential loss there? What if Apple closed their doors tomorrow? That's a $14,000 risk. Well, what if you could still control the movement of that 100 shares of stock for maybe $500 or 600 mm-hmm. or 400 depending on the option that you use? So it, it allows you to participate in those higher price stocks, the movement of the, of the assets, the movement of the shares with a lot less money. Yeah, something and like you, a Tesla even. Well, you can do, yeah, absolutely. You can do options on, on most of those those major stocks will allow you to, or the market will allow you to trade uh, options on them. And then also look at the return. If the underlying is up about 10%, 
the kind of a rule of thumb is the option is going to be up at least 100 percent, maybe a couple hundred percent. So you've got a great potential for better returns there. You can participate in something that might have been out of your reach before. Yeah. Uh, and then also you can get paid to wait. And, and what I mean by that is that you can have an option position. Let's say you, you want to buy Apple stock mm-hmm. uh, and you actually want to own the stock, yeah. but you think it's not quite worth $140. What if it's worth maybe you'd be willing to pay $130? Yeah. You can get paid cash today. Uh, to wait until it goes down to 130, and then yep. you're in at 130. That's one of my favorite strategies, Al, because sometimes you don't necessarily want the stock, right? But it's it's a way that it allows investors and traders to have an income strategy and not even own the stock, right? And it's that a, income is yours to keep, regardless of correct. What Just very similar to like an insurance company. Yeah, and the same thing is true if you want to sell Apple stock and you think it's you think it probably is going to go up a little bit in the next maybe a week or two or the next month it's trading at 140 uh what if you could get paid cash to wait until it goes up to 150 or 160 and then sell it at that price yeah. you get paid to wait that's a that's a huge benefit yeah, options is a great income producing vehicle that you can use in any market condition up markets down markets a sideways market and the also you can use it as protection so yeah you if you have a stock portfolio an equity portfolio you can protect it so if the underlying asset if that stock or that equity position or positions go down there's an option that will go up to kind of counter that so you're hedging yep. your position yeah and if you want to learn more about the options market all you have to do is uh, come into one of these classes text investing to the number 210 210 right now for two seats for this class so al let's just say this let's just say somebody is in retirement they're they're sure. retired Maybe they own some stock or whatever that may be, and they still it's it, it, the stock price is going down, but they still need an income strategy because their their overall portfolio is going down because the last year has been mm-hmm. terrible for a lot of investors that mm-hmm. were just buying and holding. How do you use options as a potential income strategy during retirement as well? Yeah, one of the probably the most widely used option strategy is does exactly what you just said. You you can have a stock position and you can use options to make money off of that stock. Uh, it's sort of like using your stock as a uh, like a like a money machine, just just kicking off money for you. A money machine, huh? Like a money machine. You <laughs> you can you can generate income off of. A, a stock, or you can use options on a futures contract or forex contract. Mm-hmm. But d- don't let the fact that you don't know about these things scare you away from them and keep you from participating in something that could have a huge benefit to you down the road. Yep. In the with the retirement accounts, Josh, in in twenty twenty two, the average four hundred one k was down about twenty five percent. Okay, the typical upside move on these accounts is four to six percent. How long mm-hmm. is it going to take you to recuperate that 25%? Yeah. And what if it happens again this year? Can you afford to have your accounts go down that much? Yeah. So number one, you need to have protection. Learn options. Learn how to use options as protection. But then how do you recuperate what you what you lost in 2022? And you can do that by using these leveraged assets, whether it's options, futures, or forex. And we, and we teach you everything that you need to know about them so you can have a, a proper risk strategy in place. You really minimize that. And then you also – and here's the other thing. I think a lot of people make a mistake in not knowing how to identify an accurate profit target. Mm-hmm. And and you need to make sure that if you have a profit, it stays with you and doesn't end up being taken away. Yeah, because eventually you need to realize your profits, right? Sure. I mean, you can't just sit there and hold it and hope. But – but that's what most people do. Yeah. It's a buy and hold strategy. Is don't yep. worry about profits. Don't worry about losses. Just hold on for 10, 20, 30 years. And then with your fingers crossed, maybe you'll have enough money left then to uh, to live somewhat the lifestyle you want. Yeah. It's, or, or get by is what we hear a lot of people yep. say. I don't know how many times people come to the academy because they're they're, they're okay. They're They're comfortable. But they're just getting by. They can't yeah. go do the fun things that they want to well, do. Well, you can always get a, a second job or third job or part-time job or, that, or don't retire. Or, that's true, I it, guess. As one advisor recommended, get a roommate. <laughs> yeah. That's what you want to do when Boy, you Boy, they retire. have some great ideas, don't yeah. they? Well, that's a whole other show. We could we got to do a whole show on that. But uh, boy, this is a lot funner talking about the positive uh, positives of the market. But that's the key, I think, is, is being able to understand these different assets to, that you can use. And if you don't understand those or know what those are, that's why we've been having so many people come to these investing classes. I mean, we've been pouring in a lot of people to these classes because, for one, 
people have seen their statements. It's not what they were hoping for, mm-hmm. and they need those income strategies. So looking at these, I mean, the great thing about an IRA, you can trade futures in there. You can trade Forex in there. Right. You can trade options in there. And yes. that way you're not stuck to just mutual funds or, 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 or slow stocks. Mutual funds, quite frankly, are probably the one of the most uh, the worst investments in a retirement account because the fees are so darn high. If you want, if you need help with that, or you just need some assistance on what might be a benefit to you, check out one of these investing classes. I want to invite you to that. Al teaches these many, many years of experience, especially helping people with retirement accounts. Text the word investing right now to the number two ten two ten for two seats for the free investing class. Text the word investing to the number two ten two ten right now. So Al, we got one more to go and I want to talk more about those retirement accounts. We talk about protecting those retirement accounts. We're going to do that in the next segment, but also how to grow those retirement accounts no matter which way this market goes. This is Josh and Al investing and trading live. We'll be right back. 